Hi guys, welcome to my video. I'm Luna and I just wanted to do a video today about something but I wanted to make it extremely clear. This is not hate, this is not a debate, this is not anything like that. This is just what is in my experience. So I'm not hating anybody, I'm not hating anybody's choices, I'm not hating anybody's anything. Um, this is just my experience uh, myself. I wanted to start off saying that I do not sell for an MLM. I do not sell any kind of coaching kits. I don't sell any kind of products or anything like that. I've been watching Angie Bellamare for at least three years. I mostly watched her for her motivation, her routines, and her like holiday videos. I really, really, really enjoy her holiday videos. I haven't been able to find anybody else who does holiday videos quite like hers. So that's really why I watched her. And then she's always promoted, like very subtly promoted that she helps people. She never says Beachbody ever. I mean, maybe once, it's very rare that she would say Beachbody. It's always helping people to fit gym. And so she just made, she made a lot of claims. So first off, she made a claim that every single morning she wakes up and goes to her Instagram stories. It's accountability, motivation, blah, blah, blah. I decided to start following her on Instagram, noticed that she never does that. Not once has she done that. And in the video, she said she gets really upset when she doesn't do that. So I was kind of like looking forward, like it sounds silly, but I was looking forward to seeing a cute motivational candle picture every 5 a.m. in the morning or so, because that's when I wake up. So it'd be nice to see a little cozy something when I first wake up. But I had never seen anything like that on her story since I started following her. And when she said that, like I started following her the day she said that. So that was kind of disappointing, but I decided to join her team, not so much to sell. At first I was like open-minded to it, but then I'm not gonna get into the whole MLM thing, but I don't really agree with it. And it's not really what I wanna do. Um, but she she made a lot of claims that everybody in her fit gym, which is like her like coaching hangout space, I guess you could say, she has a fit gym for her customers and a fit gym for her coaches. And she just made this claim that like her fit gym BFFs were, she was always active, she was always there. Um, she said for her coaches, she did this thing every day called the daily grind, which is pretty much what she said is daily motivation. And she would say her top three things that she was doing that day. And I was really excited for those. And I joined, and that was one of the things I was really excited for was her daily grind videos. And she, she did one and it was before I had joined and it was, she didn't mention anything about what she was doing that day at all. She mentioned like a promotional thing. Um, so I thought maybe I was in the wrong group because she has like so many groups. Like there's like five, five different groups for coaches and stuff. It's, it's crazy. So I emailed her and I will say that she gets back on her email pretty quickly, but she, I was in the right group. I'm in the right groups and I'm looking in the right spot. She just doesn't do daily grind videos, at least from what I can see. When I went to join her, uh, I'm just going to be a little bit vulnerable. She sent me a video that said it costs three ninety something to join, but most people don't pay that because they do a challenge pack. So I joined her. I'm like, hey, um, I don't want to get a challenge pack. Can I just get the thirty nine ninety nine thing? Because I'm, you know, I had plans. I, I, I just wanted to do that to start off with. She pretty much was like, it's gonna be impossible if you do that. You can't do that. It's really hard. Um, well, first off, she started She started off saying that I could do it, it would just be really hard. And then whenever I said I would put the hard work in, she was like, it would be impossible, you can't do that, but I'll sign you up if you want, but don't blame me, it's gonna be hard, don't say I didn't tell you. So she was just like really discouraging. So when I joined, I she sent me a challenge pack, which actually got canceled, and I'm not sure why, because um, I had the money in my account, and... I don't, I don't know, I don't know why it canceled, but I never, I never ended up getting the challenge pack. 
Um, it's not coming to my house. And no, I'm not drinking anything from Beachbody. It's a stew fuel. Anyways. So, it was just, like, somebody that was so encouraging. And so, I made it from the bottom and now I'm here. It was just really discouraging. And if you, not on any of her videos on her channel, she says this, but on somebody else's channel where she does kind of like a webinar thing, she says that she wouldn't turn anybody down. She would give anybody a chance even if they couldn't start with the challenge pack. So I just kind of thought that was weird. She's not very active in the groups, like at all. She makes it sound like she's super active one-on-one -on -one with everybody. And um, I've gotten very short replies on emails, very short replies. I told her somebody was wanting to join my team and I was feeling very inadequate. And she was pretty much like, did you finish your university? Which I'll get into that in a minute. And she's like, you got this. And that, that was pretty much it. I would have went about that a little bit differently, but, and I'm not joining anybody to my team, just to be clear. I'm gonna help them with what they need help with without selling them stuff. But anyways, so I didn't get like any help when it came to wanting to recruit my first person. No comfort, no guidance, no nothing. And the university, so whenever you join, she, sends you she sends you so much stuff like you get so many Facebook groups to join and you you have this long list of things to do and you get this university and it is um pretty much a lot of like webinars just like so much information so much information there's like no she would have like broke it down to like this is what I would recommend doing day one this is what I would recommend doing day two instead of just like throwing everything at you and just being like well here you go it's kind of like if a teacher like instead of standing up in front of the class and explaining everything they just kind of handed you a packet and was like here um this is your lesson so i was extremely overwhelmed and before i had done this i had mentioned that i was autistic so I'm not, like, I didn't ask for accommodations or anything, but, like, if you're autistic wanting to do this, like, it's so beyond overwhelming and there's no, like, extra help at all. Anytime I talked about my big goals, she was like, we'll take it one day at a time. Groups are not very active. Like, the only thing she really says in her groups is she does shout people out when they're doing well, like, if they get an, an advancement in their ranks or whatever. But most of it's just like promoting other people's webinars and I will say the webinars are fun like I enjoy going to them they are motivational to me I feel like if you listen to it loosely you can apply it to multiple places in your life aside from Beachbody she just makes it sound like there's a lot more help and there's really not like there's like two three four super active people in the group and that's about it like you get you get likes on your posts but you get very few comments and most of them are like I've mostly got just like emojis and you got this so I will say I will say that she does like her her method of getting people on board is different than most people I've seen. Most people I've seen, they just go straight to messages and it's like, hey, have you heard about this opportunity? And they're like, but what she does, and I don't know if it's, if it's genuine, <laughs> if it's genuine, then I don't think it's harmful, but if it's just to get sales, then it's kind of flaky. You know what I mean? But what she does is she makes friends and she doesn't like go into people's inboxes from what I've seen and from what I've heard to invite them. It's it's a free open invitation. She, she sets out the information and then if you want to join, you fill out this form. But their whole method with Team Uproar, which is her team and like pretty much everything that they preach is to make friends with people before you sell it to them. And I don't know if that's like they don't say this but like it could very easily be fake friendships just to make sales and i don't i i can't really comprehend 
fake friendship. It's not good and it's not a good thing to do and it's very hurtful. I would like to wonder if I became good friends with Angie, if she would stop talking to me if I wasn't her coach anymore. Um, I kind of feel like she would. So I'm just really disappointed. It's not at all what I thought it was going to be. I was expecting a lot more Angie and a lot more like motivation, some more information because she makes it sound like her coaches get a lot more than what her YouTube channel does. And from what I found, aside from the university, which is just utterly and completely overwhelming, you get more information from her YouTube channel than you do her coaching. She did mention, I think once mixed in with a bunch of stuff that once you get to a certain rank, you get to work one-on-one -on -one with her. But I kind of feel like you should work one-on-one -on -one with the newer coaches too, just because I feel like they're learning and they're the ones that are very new to it. So they don't really know what they're doing. So I feel like they kind of need maybe a little bit more help than, than other ones. Although I understand she wants to work with people that are dedicated, but it just doesn't set right with me. Like I still feel like um, smaller ranks deserve help too. It's, it's not fair. Oh yeah. And when she said that it would be hard without the kit, I don't think the kit would have helped me at all with learning because all of the information you get in the kit, the nutrition information, workout information, all of that information is online on their website. So I don't see how the kit would have helped me other than to put money in her pocket, just to be clear. So anyways, like I said, this video is not hate, it's purely education, what I've learned, what I, what my experience has been. Um, I... I'm very upset. I'm so I'm I'm very sad because I really like Angie. I'm I I'm mixed up about her right now because I I used to be very sure that she was a genuine person, very kind and, um, you know just inspirational. And I'm gonna continue watching her just because I like the videos. I really do like the videos, and I can push aside my unsure feelings about her to watch videos. It's not like she's a crappy person. That's, you know out there scamming everybody. I do think she has good intentions. I just think she advertises more than what she gives. If you're someone like me, that can be extremely disappointing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.